Catherine Fortunate, and about a year ago, Hurricane Irene came through New Jersey. At that point, it was just a tropical storm. Did some damage, it um, felled a tree across our road, which closed it, and another tree fell on a neighbor's house, but also left a whole carpet of sticks in my yard, and I felt compelled to do something with them. What I did was to make some textured rollers that left stick impressions. I'll show you how to make them. You'll need a rolling pin, a canvas board, and some roller guides. These are about a half inch thick. You'll need to cut the slab to a rectangle about 6 by 12. I'm doing 6 by 14. They both work. And the clay I'm using is a finely grog plastic clay. Once you've transferred the slab to a workboard, you'll need to go get some sticks. sticks should all be in about the same size range. These are all about a quarter to half an inch in diameter. Sticks that have little outcroppings like this or that fork make it a really interesting imprint. Start laying out your sticks along the slab. Keep in mind that the negative spaces can be really interesting. If there are sticks that bends in one direction, it's very difficult to press it, but you can roll it along like this and get a good impression with it. You can also, once you've used one section of a stick, you can rotate it and use the other side. or even further along down the stick. So I'm pressing them about halfway the diameter of the stick. Once it's done, pick up the textured slab and get it into a cylindrical shape. The rounder it is, the better it will roll. Cut the edges on a bevel so that when they come together you have a strong seam. I'm going to add a little bit of slip. Let the cylinder set up a little bit so that you can hide that seam as much as possible. With the smaller sticks, you can make a mini roller. I rolled this coil, but an extruder could do the job probably better. Cut it to about an inch and a half. Get it as round as possible so it rolls evenly. Flatten out your ends. Then press the smaller scale sticks into the clay. Look for interesting intersections and forks. And once you're done, set it aside to dry and get this fire. Once you've bisked your rollers, you can use them to create these stick impressions in clay. Roll them with a thick slab. In this case, these are half inch roller guides. A little thicker than you normally would because when you roll the textured roller over it, it will thin it out a little bit more. This clay tile 
is going to be a side of a planter. I'm going to mark off about a one inch top edge. And I'll use that top edge as a guide. This slab will become one side of this planter. Here's a tile that I made just using that one roller. The mini roller I made earlier is great for making little edges. Here's one that I bisced. And I'll show you how I make a top edge to a planter with it. I'm cutting out a template I use for small planters. I'm going to mark the top inch or so. Using that one inch border, I'm going to guide the roller along it. And this ultimately will become a planter that looks similar to this. <laughs>